All parts of Nigeria from the east to the west, north to the south were almost grounded to a halt in a joke reaction to Monday's President Bola Tinubu's inaugural address where he declared that petrol subsidy is gone. Now the pronouncement not only threw the country into chaos but also left the masses and economy on the edge. However, owing to the confusion that followed the announcement which saw pump price of petrol rise to as high as 1,200 naira per litre in Ebony State and about 600 naira per litre in some state, President Tinubu has backpedaled over his stand on the removal of fuel subsidy, stating that the decision will not take immediate effect. That the development would force the national oil company, Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, to hold an emergency press conference at midnight of Monday to align with Tinubu's plan, saw the Major Oil Marketers Association of Nigeria Mormon and the Depo and Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria Dapman issuing a statement in support of subsidy removal. NNPCL had said the decision by the federal government to remove subsidy on PMS was necessary as a group chief executive officer of the company, Mele Kiari, said subsidy removal, which has been a burden on NNPC's cash flow, would free up funds to enable optimal operations in the company. But the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, Ibman, which services over 70% of the country, as well as the Petroleum Product Retail Outlets Owners Association of Nigeria, Petroen, which boasts of 8,000 fuel stations, opposed the move, stressing that proper planning is needed to remove subsidy. On the show today, we'll keep our eye on the fuel subsidy removal and the ensuing fuel scarcity. Welcome to Business Insight and Plus TV Africa. I am Justin. Akadonye. Welcome back. We begin with a roundup of our business headlines before we talk to our guest this morning. Nigerian equities market closed positive as the key market indicator advanced by 2,764.47 basis points amid positive market breadth. The NGX All Share Index advanced by 5.22% to close at 55,738.35 basis points as against a 0.29% gain recorded previously to close at 52,973. 3.88 basis point. In Naira terms, the NGX market cap records 1.51 trillion Naira gain. Yet today, the NGX ASI stands at 8.76%. Uh, we'll move on now to the next story. The Federal Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment has held a retreat and workshop to unveil its new strategy that supports the mobilization of direct investment at all levels to be implemented by the federal and state government and their ministries, departments, and agencies. Now, the new federal state investment strategy, which has been designed and developed over the last three years, was authored by renowned global investment strategy, Dr. Niki Okoye, and it forms an integral part of his work on national investment strategy, which has been implemented by several African countries and sub-national authorities. Now to LPG, Nigeria experienced a 60% increase in liquefied petroleum gas prices in 2022, according to the African Development Bank, that AFDB. As a result, more Nigerians have switched from using LPG for cooking to firewood or other polluting fuels. For those who continue to use LPG, the situation has led to increased costs. And now let's talk about fuel subsidy for one moment before I introduce my guest. The House of Representatives has held the removal of oil subsidy. Now loading the government for the decision, the House commended President Bola Tinubu for his courage, asking Nigerians to be patient with the new administration. The commendation and the appeal came on the heels of a motion on the matters of urgent uh, national importance uh, moved at plenary by Honorable Jimo Olajide from Lagos State. Now, the group chief executive officer of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company, NNPC Limited, Mele Kiari, says the federal government still owes the firm the sum of 2.8 trillion naira spent on petrol subsidy. 
Addressing journalists after a meeting with President Bola Tinubu in Abuja, Kiari said the subsidy payment was no longer sustainable as it hinders the company from funding its core businesses. Kiari said the NNPC made the petrol subsidy payment from its cash flow, noting that government has been unable to pay back the 2.8 trillion naira spent so far.